Hey guys, welcome back. We are on week 19. In this last six weeks of cycle three, we are studying the field of probability. Um, so if you're like me, it kind of feels like a curveball here. You know, we've been studying anatomy and chemistry and things that are tangible and hands-on. And all of a sudden we have this idea of math, probability. Um, and so we say, why are we studying probability? Well, the writers in our curriculum guide help shed a little light on this and open my eyes um, to a bigger concept too. So a lot of things in science can be studied by the scientific method and by the hands-on little experiments kind of things we've been doing. Of course, more complex than what we do, but they can be made into an experiment. However, studies of science, such as like the study of origins, um, are not so easily wrapped into a little package and, you know, written out step one, step two for an experiment to be done. In these type of fields, things like probability and statistics are very helpful for determining what's the likelihood that something could happen or could not just happen. And so for my tutors um, and in these little videos, you will hear repetition at the beginning of each one and it's because I want to enter us into the grammar phase of learning about probability. Um, so every week, I want you to ask two questions. One, define probability or what is probability? And two, why as Christians or why in CC are we studying it? So the answer to number one, what is probability? It is the mathematical study of chance. Simple as that, the mathematical study of chance. And then you may say, for especially this first week, well, what is chance? Well, chance is the possibility that something may or may not happen. Um, and so everything in this life besides God has a degree of chance. Um, everything has a degree of um, likelihood it may or may not happen except for God. Hebrews 13 tells us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So he is never changing, but everything else um, has a degree of chance to it. Um, so with that, that is what we're studying. So probability is the mathematical study of chance. Chance then is the possibility of something may or may not happen. And then why do we study it? We study it so that we can know God's world better and understand why some things could or could not have just happened. There's a book that um, CC used to use, it couldn't have just happened. Um, it talks about the um, creation of the world and, and looks at things like that statistically and probability. Um, what's the likelihood that it just kind of happened versus what's the likelihood that our intelligent designer actually has purpose behind everything um, down to the very cellular gas level. Um, so that is why we study it. It helps us to begin to open our brains to this idea, which may, you know, help these kiddos later, um, help to understand bigger concepts more. So again, define probability and why we study it every week at the beginning. So today we're starting with our probability experiments with something called a coin toss. Sounds pretty common. Um, ask the kids, you know, when have they ever done a coin toss? Have they ever played that with their siblings or friends? Have they seen it done on the football field or a basketball court? Um, why is it used? What does it mean? Because um, they'll be pretty familiar with that. So a coin toss is simply what it says, tossing of a coin. Um, and so to begin, again, you want to define probability, mathematical study of chance. So looking at probability, we want to be able to def um, write it out so that we begin to understand that what that looks like in a concrete fashion. So looking at our coin, how many sides does this have? It has two sides. I want to toss my coin and I want a heads up. That is my desire. So I want a heads up. It's always been my favorite anyways. Um, so what is the likelihood that I'm going to get a heads up? You might get some random answers. Um, probably pretty close, 50%, um, you know, one every two times. 
Um, so to figure this out probability wise, we write our desired outcome, which would be one, there's only one heads on here, out of total possible outcomes, which would be a heads or a tail. So there's two possible outcomes, um, but there's only one desired outcome. So when we write probability, we're writing our desired outcome over total possible outcomes. So our desired outcome is one, there's only one heads, over two, out of two. So one out of two chance of getting a heads. All right, so we've talked probability, we've showed them how we would write a very basic probability thought, and then we're gonna do our first experiment as a class. And so as a class, you're gonna flip this coin 12 times. I'm gonna do it very quickly here, just so I can show you. I got two heads here. One tail, one, oops, sorry, there's a heads and a tails. Let's say I keep going here and I get, right now heads are winning. Once you do it 12 times, oh gosh, I got a lot of tails here going. Uh, I got a heads. All right, so let's say we did it 12 times here. And my results were five heads and seven tails. Okay, so my results were five heads. Okay, I got five heads, right? Out of how many possible times did I toss it? 12. So my results were five out of 12, okay? So results, as you can see, so if we were to make this a, you know, a smaller fraction, um, it would turn into um, not a perfect fraction, so I'm not gonna do that, but we're actually pretty close to one out of two, one half. Um, so results, this is important, do not always equal the probability. Um, but usually the more results you do, the more data points you have, the closer you get to the probability of something happening, um, to them equaling or being really close, which mine was really close, just with 12 tries. And so you wanna show the kids the difference. There is a difference between results and probability. Because again, probability is the study of chance. It's just the chance it will happen. It doesn't mean it actually will happen that way, but it's, the likelihood that it will happen. Um, and again, that gets closer the more times you do that gap um, gets closer. If you wanted to turn it into percents, you would then just divide these, you can use your calculator, and then multiply times 100, and you would get pretty close um, to 50%. So that's, um, so again, we're defining probability, we talk about why, we do our coin toss, coin toss as a group, and then we talk about the difference between probability and our results, because that will be something you look at every single week. And then you're going to do one of two things. You're going to rather break off into stations, three stations. One will be, at least in my, uh, my campus, we'll have one coin toss station. We're gonna do exactly what we just did again and calculate their results. We're gonna have one card station where kids will each take a turn, they'll pick 12 cards, and you're, do you're gonna be documenting if you got a black or a red. The third station will be a dice station, um, where they'll roll their dice, and they'll keep track on the charts, I'm gonna show you in just a second, of what number they roll. You have each so set of three kids at three stations. After five minutes, shift stations. After five minutes, shift again and again. So you spend about 15 minutes doing these different experiments and getting the results and then spend the last five minutes of your class um, going over the results as a whole. We will be um, doing these on these little charts. So you leave the chart at the station. So here's the coin toss chart and there's a card chart and a um, dice chart. And so again, the kids will just put a little slash and leave the chart at their station. Now for the younger classes, you can just keep these with you, Tutor, and just do them all together. And then at the end, kind of calculate your results. So you should have, if you have three stations and three groups, each doing it 12 times, then you get 36 data points 
to then put together and calculate your results. See how close that is to the actual probability. Um, and then we'll continue on this study next week. Thanks.